I've got for you today the unboxing of a Mont Blanc pen. This is a limited edition from the Writer's Edition series, uh, Leo Tolstoy. So it comes in this rather interesting uh, book simulation uh, of the sleeve. And then it opens up like a regular book. Along with the pen comes, of course, a service guide, standard stuff from Mont Blanc about sort of not carrying it upright on planes, the way that you fill it, the way that you clean it, that sort of thing, the services they offer, as well as a quick description of the pen's origins and its inspirations. Um, there, Tolstoy, a man notoriously known for his work for the people. Uh, not sure if he'd endorse having his name on a thousand dollar pen. Not decidedly not something for the people, but uh, here we have it. So list the entire range of collections. Fountain pen, the ballpoint pen, and the rollerball. Uh, go over some design cues taken from Tolstoy's family estate, including the ridges of the pen cap, apparently supposed to simulate the uh, roof of a particular building. Color is also drawn apparently from his palette of favorite colors. Not sure if that's true or real. Uh, and then of course the nib is engraved with his family's crest, a key, crossed key with wings. The barrel is uh, apparently uh, representation of his hard life. Lots of knocks apparently, so the hammered hammered aesthetic. It's supposed to be a homage to that. And then a bit of war and peace to uh, give some detail to the pen. And then of course the, the certificate at the end. So the pen comes in a uh, Protective case. So, as we mentioned, the pen top, this sort of ridge, these sort of little ridges are a nod to one of the buildings of his family's estate. The artwork here along the band is also a note to one of his family's aesthetics. And then along the pen cap, there's his signature engraved, along with at the top, the limited edition number, and this is one of 9,000. Uh, blue, dark blue precious resin for the cap, and then a two-tone precious resin for the, the end. And then a hammered silver barrel. Originally, it was quite quite nice, uh, quite shiny. Now, the uh, the higher regions have apparently worn away. Uh, I'm not too sure if what is underneath is sort of a base metal uh, or what exactly that is. The silver appears to be rather thin coat and looks looks rather worn after about a year of use. Uh, if you can see that, the way that it's quite inconsistent. My camera's focus. Otherwise, I've never had a problem with the ink flow, never had a problem refilling it or flushing it, uh, changing inks, switch from blue, black, and red, no problem. Uh, let's see. Nope. If we can get the, uh, there, there we go. The, uh, the nib is inscribed with his family's crest, the winged keys, and then the color of the cap simulated again, repeated again in the, the grip. All in all, not a bad pen. Uh, after year, no damage, no major scratches. Uh, 
treating it with care is enough, needs no other treatment. Uh, some of Mulraw pens that are or that have silver components will come in a protective sealed plastic sheath that keeps oxygen away so that the, the silver doesn't tarnish. This pen didn't. Uh, it's customary when you go to Mulbron, buy a pen, you'll uh, open up the packaging with the employee that's selling it, the salesperson, uh, just to verify the contents. And this is how it comes, just, uh, just as it is. No protection other than that. So there you have it. Mont Blanc's limited edition fountain pen writer's edition for Leo Tolstoy. All in all, a distinctive pen. Nice enough. Uh, and no major criticisms. Recommended, maybe. If you don't mind the, uh, the strange mix of... Uh, of tones and of textures.